hey guys so today i'm back with another video and this one is one that uh, i wish i had before i started doing night shifts um and it's essentially telling you uh, my tips and tricks for surviving the night shift particularly that first one so my experiences with health care related night shifts so working in the hospital but i feel like this could also apply to like if you were security or something like that anything where you have to stay awake for those long long hours so my first tip is to choose your stimulants wisely, whether it's coffee, tea, pre-workout, energy drink, any of that. These can be a massive help, especially for that first one. But if you're doing regular night shifts, you probably want to work out what's going to be best for your body and you. But particularly for that first one, it definitely helps to have an energy drink on hand or something similar. My next thing would be to eat food, but um, real food good food. I know my body, particularly when it comes to about midnight to three o'clock, want, it wants real vegetables, fruit, healthy stuff. It craves it. So pack some of that. And I find if I have like a little punnet of berries, that gives me a little energy boost. So definitely bring food. So my next tip would be if your place of work or hospital allows it, try to take a nap. I know at um, the two hospitals I work at, I get an hour break and both allow you to have a nap. So I find that really helps, especially with the drive home. If I don't get that nap in there, I get really tired on the drive home. If you're not able to take a nap um, and that's not allowed, something you could do if you get a break is meditate or listen to music. Just give your mind a little bit of a break. That can be really helpful and kind of reset you ready for the next block of hours. Another tip that helps particularly with staying awake is stay fresh. Bring um, toothbrush and toothpaste to brush your teeth in the morning around four or five o'clock. That can really wake you up. Uh, bring perfume or a hairbrush, just thing, um, chewing gum, stuff that can just make you still feel awake and not all gross. I definitely think chewing gum for me is a massive help, especially if you're drinking lots of coffee because there's nothing worse than like sitting hours with like that coffee taste in your mouth. Another tip would be for that drive home after the night shift. Um, for me, what really helps is if I have some sort of stimulant. Say if my night shift's ending at 7.30, I have that stimulant around 5.30. So it still keeps me awake for the drive home, but then when I get home, I'm able to sleep. If that doesn't work, one thing that really helps me stay awake is winding down my windows and singing along to my favorite music, absolutely belting it out. This helps massively. I never feel tired when I do this. But something to remember that is if you do feel tired, you feel yourself um, going to sleep the safest thing to do is pull over and have a bit of a nap I have done this twice I don't regret it either time you know you've got to look after your safety and you've got to look after people on the road another tip would be to stay hydrated drink so much water um, and also I find I don't know if this is just the hospitals but of a nighttime the air conditioning is really pumping and my lips get so dry and my skin gets so dry it could also be because you're awake for say 24 hours I don't know if that has something to do with it, but if I forget my lip balm on a night shift, I am not a happy person to be around. So definitely just remember to keep hydrated. Something that can also make a massive difference that is not that hard to do is just have a positive attitude on a night shift. A lot of people on night shift are tired and grumpy and it's not nice to be around and it kind of spreads like a disease through it. One person's grumpy and it just, it's a domino effect. So it's really hard. People are tired, people are grouchy, people are frustrated. But if you can be that person that um, brings in that fun, the laughter and the positive attitude, that too can spread and it can just be a better night shift for everyone. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. And notice yourself, like sometimes I can feel when I'm getting a bit agitated or um, a patient will buzz and they've been buzzing on that and I'll be really like, and I can feel it and I just slow down, take a couple of breaths, try and be calm and just remember that attitude is everything. So another tip I have is to get your sleeping patterns right um try and work out how you're gonna play it some people um before a night shift will wake up early that morning and then have a nap before their night shift uh, a lot of people have a different ways of doing it and also people have different ways when they come home from a night shift some people try and stay awake for like four to five hours and then sleep so they can sleep all the way through to their shift um so when i started doing night shifts i'd go to bed straight away but my body would only let me have three hours and then i could probably only get two more before um 
before the next night shift if I had a couple in a row. So this became quite a problem for me. By the third night shift in a row, I was hallucinating and it wasn't fun to be around. So I decided to go to the doctors um, and they gave me melatonin, which is natural. It's a chemical produced in your brain. And this has made the world of difference to me. I've gone from getting three hours to six, seven, eight hours even, which makes the biggest difference when you're doing repetitive night shifts. Uh, the doctor told me that I should just buy it from the US because it's cheaper that way and that's what she does. She uses it as well. It's definitely going to be something I'm going to purchase again and it also it makes night shifts completely bearable. So if you're like me and struggle with the sleeping aspect of night shifts, I would give it a try. It's an honest to God life changer. Another big thing that contributes to a successful night shift is just planning ahead, being organised. I know for me, just like planning the food that I'm going to have and also before my night shift, just cleaning my room, getting, if I'm go if I have to go anywhere the next day, I'll lay out the outfit. When you come home from a night shift, the last thing you want to do is be sorting all these little things out. That's definitely a massive help to me. I was the type of girl who had the messiest room all the time and I found out that that if I came home from a night shift and my room was messy and I was trying to find things, I was super agitated. So keeping my room clean has been a massive difference. If you guys can think of anything else that could help people for their first couple of night shifts and trying to survive that, just leave it down below. If you have any questions about night shifts, let me know. I'll answer it. Any video suggestions you'd like me to make, I will make them. Just leave the comment below. Uh, thanks for watching again and I will see you in my next video. Thanks.